LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, folks. Um, you know, um, I dropped a video earlier this morning, and there was an issue with the sound, so I'll have to figure out, you know, what happened uh, this evening, come back home because I got to get on the road. But, um, you know, I, I want to tell you guys something, you know, about some of the content of that video because I'm not going to put everything out. But, you know, I am going to talk about it, man. Uh, in that video, I was talking about some of, not even criticism. It's not even criticism anymore, man. This girl is flat out getting bona fide hate. Like, hatred comments, nasty, vile, disrespectful comments. And, you know, there are a couple of racial comments about her in there that, you know, I kind of dropped my mind. I'm like, what? And, of course, you know, you got a couple of guys on her Facebook page that's posing like they're Hispanics, you know, that they're Latino. But they're really not. And you get a lot of people that do that just to give them justification so they can make racial comments. And, yeah, it was, it was a couple of guys that made racial comments at Alexa Grazo. They did. And, uh, you know, I'll kind of display it into the video, but I'm going to tell you all this. And I'm going to tell you all this right now. See, the thing of it is with this is that we want everything to be fair. I know I do. But I'm living in reality. And I understand that it's not going to be fair. I understand completely that it's not going to be fair. It's, it's just not. See, no matter how straight down the middle you try to call it, no matter how objective you try to be with everybody, it's not going to be fair. Because people are going to, and it's, it's just a matter of time, you know, and I can kind of understand where Alexa coming from, but she didn't even respond. You know, and I'm going to tell you something. Alexa Grazo it, it actually is an actual, she's a good person. You know, she takes time. She responds to the fans on Facebook. I even left Alexa. I left her um, the motivational speech I posted. And I also posted her film studies that I did on her. And you know, Alexa, almost like, what, an hour? She said, Coach, thank you. I really appreciate this. She said, Coach, you really don't understand. And I, I typed back and I said, I do. And then, you know, she left a little smile emoji, you know. But I mean... You know, it don't take very long to actually, you know, say something. You know, it don't take long. See, all the time it took these people to make those crazy comments. And I know people come at me and say, well, Coach, yeah, but you, you said some crazy things about Ronda Rousey. I did. Maybe I should not have. I just felt at the time Ronda was doing a lot of stuff, man. He said, Alexa Grazo ain't trashing people. Now, Alexa Grazo not running around here talking about she can beat up men. I mean, that's not what she doing. You know, Alexa Grazo not disrespectful to her opponents. So I can go on and on and on about why I, I said some things to Ronda because Ronda actually needed it. Like, she really needed it. Now, I mean, I probably ain't going to say nothing else now because Ronda is humble. Ronda not trying to do nothing else, you know. But in Alexa Grazo case, who is she offended? What did she say? For people to come out and start making comments. And I, you know... And I'm, I'm going to put the comments, you know, on my video this evening. I'm going to put some of the comments this evening. Some of them are just, just crazy. And I'm like, man, you know, this girl can get no respect. It don't matter. Damn did she do, damn did she don't. She can't get no respect. And she's on that list of people, okay? And I'm going to make up a name for this list of fighters that's on that list. I am. Okay, I'm going to make up a name for fighters that's on that list. I'm going to call it the no love list. Welcome, Alexa Grazo. You're a part of the, the fraternity called the no love list. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, it doesn't matter, okay? You're never going to be accepted. Join, join, join it, okay? It's okay. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace the no love list. Because, see, because at the end of the day, people on the no love list, they're going to completely always just, you know, do what these stupid fanboys, and I call certain people fanboys, and I need a name for them, too. <clears throat> I need a name for them too. But right now, Alexa, congratulations. You've made it to the no love list. So that means that you ain't never going to get no love. Not from the community, not from everybody. No. You're going to get a lot of hate. There's going to be a lot of different things that come at you. And you're never going to be respected. Not really. So congrats. You join a wide range of fighters. <laughs> you join Jermaine Durandame. You join Leslie the Peacemaker Smith. You join Danielle Taylor, Vivian Pereira, K-1. 
okay? It's a long line of fighters on the no love list. <laughs> Congrats, welcome. You're on that list. You're on that list. But that's okay, because real, real fans, real hardcore fans, we gonna love you. Okay, then we like how you fight. So you ain't gotta be that. See, worry about your hardcore fans. Worry about the fans that, that understand who you are and that understand that you, you know, you definitely fight for legacy. See, these are the fans that you want to make happy. All these other people that leave you comments, negative ones, you know, saying negative things, start deleting them comments. Start deleting them comments. Start deleting them. You ain't got to put up with that. I mean, hell, I do. Especially if somebody cussing me out or calling me an N-word. Man, them, them comments gone. Them comments gone. Because, see, to get respect, people got to give it. People say, Coach, you attack people all the time. I really don't attack anybody until they say something negative to me. That's when I go back at them. If y'all notice, y'all notice any comment that I make, hey, I don't say anything or go at anybody unless they come at me. That's it. That's how I work. But, you know, I actually feel bad for this girl, but, you know, I'm glad that I was able to just elevate spirits. You know, and that's what it's about. And people would, would tell you that these fighters don't need nobody encouraging them. People, no, man. Just because a person get kicked in the head and punched in the head, that don't mean that, you know, they can handle everything. They can't. Folks, that's just the way it is. That's just the way that is. But you guys, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, the Nail Palm Bomb video coming tonight uh, when I get back to my place. But uh, keep your head up, Alexa. Shout out to her. Uh, just keep coming with the heat. Keep coming with the heat. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep training because you don't need to leave your gym. You don't look. You don't. You, and, and one person says she need to go be a model, a porn model. Uh, like, you know, the disrespect that she'll get. And that ain't the image that she portray on her page. She don't do that. She not. She don't have a lot of clanty scab photos. She don't have a lot of those. Okay. She got her weigh-in photos. That's probably you know about it. And she got one photo, probably of her at the beach. That's it. Maybe some that I missed. I don't know because I just don't have the time to go through the page like that. But folks, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.